What age was he when he passed? Uh, let me see. We graduated from OCS 50 years ago. Uh huh. 1970. He was probably, he was older than me, so he'd been in his late 20s or early 30s. Mm hmm. Over here. Yeah. Yeah. So he was, I'm 70. And I'm not sure when uh, Frank Santiago, his name just came back, Frank Santiago. And you all met in OCS? Yeah, I met him in OCS. Uh -huh. He was an E7 when he went to OCS. I was an E3. Wow. So he had a lot of experience. Oh, he, yeah, he had a chest full of ribbons and a whole lot of experience. So, it, yeah. so he wasn't the regular, typical second Louis. No, no, he was not. He thought, uh, matter of fact, one of our classmates uh, went on to become a general. Out of our whole, another one of our guys, the youngest guy, was like 18 when he went there. Uh huh. He wound up staying in the army for like 40, 40 years. What's the limit? I think he stayed to absolute limit. He got out as a colonel. And he was working for something in Afghanistan. Uh huh. Uh, so he retired as a full colonel. And you know, he got that many years, he gets full pay. Okay. So basically, he's getting 100% colonel pay. Y yeah. He flew him back to the States to de Rose him, and then he flew back and went to work for the civilian agency. Probably making double the salary. So did they offset, you know, if he was working for us, another government agency? I don't have a clue how to do it. You mean as far as billing your retirement? Yeah. Yeah, if you go from federal job to federal job, you can build your years and retire. So you can take the years with you. But he actually retired from the Army, and then he retired from whatever his other agency was. Uh-huh. Another one of my buddies, OCS buddies, uh, became a colonel. And he retired from the Army as a full bird. Uh-huh. And he went to work for, uh, oh, what's the good agency? A uh, DEA? DEA. He went to work for DEA and retired from DEA. Uh huh. So he was, he's drawn double retirement. Wow. And he spent most of his time in Central and South America with Special Forces and went back to Central and South America as a DEA. Mm hmm. You can make a lot of money consulting with certain backgrounds. Yeah, you can. I look back sometimes and wish I had done that. Well, perhaps you selected peace over money. You got the one you wanted, or you got the one you could afford? No, 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 I got the one I wanted. Uh huh. Okay. I mean, I don't, I don't know what else I'd want on the truck. My other truck had roll-up windows and rubber floor mats. Oh. And the radio mirror. This one has a built-in navigation, four-wheel drive. Wow. Backup assist, rear camera, moonroof, power seats, heated seats. Right. Yeah. It'll do more than I love it. You know what? That's good. And I love it. I just sit down in it and I feel like I'm so happy. That's why I didn't recognize when we pulled into the driveway, I was looking for your old truck. The old one was just, it was getting on his last leg. Yeah, it served you well. It did. And that old truck I bought for like $2,000 and I was absolutely stone cold broke. And the truck that I had it died and it was dead. And my son called me up and said, Dad, our truck, our company, is, they were laying off engineers. Uh, by the groves in 08, mm -hmm. 09. Mm -hmm. And my son called and said, Dad, I know your truck is down. I know you're a good truck. At the time I was going to I was using my truck just doing part time work. Uh -huh. I didn't do anything somebody paid me to do. And he said, I know you need a truck. And I said, Son, I ain't got the money for a truck. He said, I know that, but our company is selling these, so it's deep discount. He said, I still don't have the money for a truck. He said, Dad, these trucks, book value on the trucks is close to $10,000. I said, I ain't got $10,000. He said, No, but they're selling for. I think it was either fifteen hundred or two thousand dollars. Oh, that was a giveaway. Oh, uh, how many can we get? He said one apiece. That's what they restricted it to. So he actually bought it for me, Dustin did. So he bought me the truck and he bought him a truck. And he's still driving his and I just traded mine in. Oh, what type of truck? It was a Ford F one fifty. Uh huh. Just a basic their basic basic model. Rubber floor mats. Yeah. 
cloth seats. Yeah. The only upgrade on it did have cruise control and the radio and air conditioning. Mm -hmm. I had that because that's probably standard features. On uh, uh huh. The truck you have now, you have leather seats or, or cloth? That's a, that's, no, that's got cloth seats. I didn't want leather. Yeah, I have cloth seats at mine. And what I did with that one, you can look at it when I get back. Are you familiar with WeatherTech floor mats? I have WeatherTech. Okay, I put WeatherTech, uh, uh, not floor mats, but the liners, floor yeah. liners. Right? Yeah. I put WeatherTech liners in it, and yeah. I just put waterproof seat covers on it. Uh, they'll come off and they'll wash them. Where do you get the water uh, the seat, waterproof seat covers from? I ordered them online. See Clint that? Had, Clinton had bought some. Yeah, they were $500. Uh, for the front and the back. I'll let you look at them when I get back. Yeah, I need to get those because when I work out or hike or something and I have a lot of sweat, you mm -hmm. know. Well, my other seats, the cloth, that's the problem with the cloth seat, it absorbs all that. Yeah. Well, these are 100% waterproof. Now, of course, if you pour water into it, it'll run down and get in it. Yeah. The seat covers are not tight, tight, tight. Uh huh. Hopping in it with a wet bathing suit, uh, it protects it. Dogs get in it, it protects. I spill something. Spill coffee in your lap or coke it. And it matches your interior? Yeah. Yeah, if you, if you just look at it, uh, you look at it, and if you're looking close, you can tell your seat covers, but if you're not looking close, you really don't realize it. Yeah. Well, I definitely need to find out where you got that because... Uh, oh, look at the turtles down there. Where? On the left? On the log coming up. Oh, I see them, yeah. Over here. Yeah. And down there is a lot of turtles. Yeah, turtle arch over there. Yeah, we got to get make sure oil sees those. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I can, I can get the place and send you the uh, email. And they... Uh, they make a specific for the truck, obviously. Oh, just like WeatherTech. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, there's little tabs on the side mm -hmm. of my seat. Mm -hmm. It's got a slot for it. There's a seat belt, and there's this and that and that. And uh, you get liners for the uh, uh, headrest. So you don't get oil in the headrest liners either. Oh, that's good. Yeah, so basically everything in the truck is protected now. Yeah, that's, 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 that's uh, Turtle Hilton over there. That is, man. That's Turtle Hilton. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How'd you recognize that? <laughs> so, will you look over just past where Meredith said, take a picture. That log over there, and watch the kayak to your right, Ben.